YouTube, what is going on? It is Gino Benino, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in, watching my video. Um, more importantly, sticking with the channel. I know it's been a while since I have posted consistently. I'm going to try to do better. The main reason I haven't been is because I just didn't want to be redundant. I didn't want to show the same uh, weekly hauls over and over that everyone else is doing. Not so much that I don't enjoy watching other people, but I just don't want to, you know, you know, kind of, if you see my book, it looks the same as theirs and vice versa. So what I do like to do is show when I get books from uh, the grading companies. Um, I'm always excited to see what people get graded and see what grades they get. And so I decide to do the same thing. Whenever I get something, I try to blind open it, let you guys be as surprised as I am. Um, the reason you're looking at this book, if you are seeing this for the first time, um, probably I decided to put it, post in a little bit different order. I explained this in the last video. I sent in a couple books um, to CBCS, or I should say dropped them off, at a convention to uh, have some signatures verified. Uh, most of my books that I have signatures on were done before there was any sort of witnessing. Uh, that kind of wasn't a thing yet. Um, again, that shows, I guess I'm I'm sort of uh, aging myself here. But anyway, um, this was the same, that kind of book. I had this signed by Stan, I think, um, 93, 94, something like that in Los Angeles when he was there. Uh, probably doing some sort of a tour or maybe, I don't know what he was doing. Maybe he was just starting to do movies and whatnot. And I know he stopped by a comic shop and was doing a signing. So... I decided to get his signature and I wanted to get it um, verified. I like the way the signature looks against the white background, so that's kind of why I chose this book. Um, but anyway, uh, and I also, the reason you're seeing it now is because I want to make sure that the camera is set up correctly and there's not too much um, flashback off the off the covers or anything like that. And it seems like it's pretty good, so here goes. Um, what I got just yesterday is a box from um, CB, uh, CBC, excuse me and uh, decide to blind open it, see what we got. Um, so here goes. Now, I should have two loads of books with them. I know I've showed last time uh, modern books, um, including the spawns and things like that. Um, I also had a, a, a second and a third tier. Um, one was economy, I believe, and the other one was, I don't know what they call it, um, moderate grade or something like that. But anyway, it's... Uh, it, uh, one included, well, I don't want to give away Silver Age, and the other one seemed like it should kind of qualify for the same, but I think they um, draw it either by, I don't know if they draw the, the classifications by times, or, you know, like if they're Silver or, or um, Bronze Age books, or if they do it by value, I'm not positive. So we'll just go with the flow. Anyway, we're going to find out what this is. Um, Let's open it up. And, okay, the first thing we have an invoice, and let's see what it says. It is telling us this is economy. So this is um, uh, probably some Silver Age books um, that fit within a certain value that um, they, okay, let's, uh, I see what they are. All right, so let's get him out of here. So the first book, um, I, so the new kid on the block, I bought this one not too long ago. Uh, this is Fantastic Four, number 48, First Galactus and Silver Surfer. I believe both the origin and the, uh, and the um, first appearance of them. I'm not sure if it's, um, I don't know if, they, if they're full. Yeah, I think it is. But anyway, um, I had 49 and 50 already. And I never uh, owned a 48, so I was kind of looking, and I just happened by my uh, LCS when uh, somebody brought in a bunch of old Silver Age, and this happened to be one of the books in there. He knew I was interested in it, and he gave me first dibs at it. Um, I'm not really hip too much on talking about prices and values and all that kind of stuff, but to make a long story short, I think I got a good deal on this. I think I paid... Um, uh, he wanted three hundred dollars for it, and he sold it to me as a two point five, um, which is pretty common for um, this guy. He typically undergrades his books. Um, he'll say they're twos when they're threes, and um, sevens when they're seven point five and eight and stuff like that. And I think he kind of does that intentionally to keep people happy. Um, 
this one, as I mentioned, uh, I got a discount, uh, subscriber discount, I think 15% off. So I think it ended up being $255, um, something like that. But anyway, um, decided to get, I wanted to get all three books graded. So I just threw this one in with it. Um, graded a uh, half, half step higher than he sold it to me as, which is always good. Uh, it sucks when it comes in lower than you expect or lower than you bought it for. Um, so he's, uh, but he's been in business for quite a while, so he kind of knows his stuff. He's a pretty accurate grader, like I said, and he often will do it for less than, uh, you know, for under what it really is. Um, one thing I noticed about CGC, and I don't know if everybody's noticing this, it seems like they've worked on getting different cases that don't have the ring problem. Um, I forget what, you, what exact terminology for it is, but I call them uh, rainbow rings. They basically look like somebody stuck a, a drop of oil or something between the two cases and they create, you know, kind of that rainbow effect. They can be sort of distracting in some cases, but I noticed that um, this doesn't have it. The, the moderns didn't either. So hopefully they've chained their cases, changed their cases to address that issue. Um, but anyway, this is 48. <clears throat> um, like I mentioned, 3.0 and that's I, I was more than happy with that. I was expecting actually a 2.5 like he's like he uh, graded. So, um, and this was my book. This is 49. This guy came back as a 4.5, which I'm happy with. Um, and then my 50. Um, I believe this is another. Um, this is a first full. Uh, Galactus, the first one, if I remember the story right, and I used, I bet I read it a hundred times, uh, 48 Silver Surfer, and then um, he explains that he's a herald of Galactus, and then it shows him on the last page of 48, then 49, the story goes deeper into Galactus and how he's going to destroy Earth, and um, this is the first full Galactus, so I think that's how it worked, and then this is 50, and 50 graded at a 4.5 as well. Um, these books I've had in my collection for quite a while. Um, I think I traded for these. I think what I did was traded 49 and 50 for some Valiant stuff when which when Valiant stuff was you know super hot. Um, again, if that's memory serves me right. Um, but anyway, 4.5 happy with that grade um, overall. There's nothing too serious wrong with it. I mean, it does have, you know, some dings and stuff like that here, but nothing, you know, super major. There's no chips or um, there's no big gunks out of it or anything like that. It's actually a pretty good, pretty decent book. Uh, my next one, I bought this at a comic convention in Chicago back in, I think, the very late 90s. Um, I was looking for this book forever. Just because I really was into Swamp Thing and Man Thing and wanted the first appearance. Um, this one I bought when Wizard was still running conventions. And it was a Wizard convention in Chicago back in probably, again, about the year 2000. Um, I went around and uh, did some bargaining and whatnot and got this one, I think, for $72, if memory serves me right. So... Um, I didn't expect a real high grade. If memory serves me, I think we talked about this being in a 1.5. This was just kind of the start of when grading was becoming a thing. And I think we it, either 1.5 or a fair or something like that. But again, I'm happy with 2.5. Um, once again, there is a little staple pull. It's not, uh, it's not popped, but uh, that's the main thing. And it does have some... Um, tears and whatnot here but um, overall like I said it's it's as we've talked about many times uh, low grade is better than no grade so I'm I'm happy with that um, nice book for my collection and my last one I'm probably the most happy with uh, this is my book I had this bought this off a rack and read it I don't know how many times um, of course Spider-Man 129 first Punisher um, came back as a 7.5. Nice solid grade. Again, not a 9. I wish it was, but it's not. 7.5 I'm extremely happy with. This book was read 100 times by me. Um, sat in a gas station probably for 10-15 years and then in a cardboard box after that and then finally transferred it into uh, board and, and bag. Um, it was dirty 
very dirty book. I've had this one particular book pressed uh, by Daryl over at uh, He's Got Freaking Issues. Um, it was a very dirty book, like I mentioned. He did a great job on the yellow, did a great job on the white stuff in back. Um, and as you can see, it looks good. Um, again, he, did a, he does good work. Um, he said he spent a lot of time on this book, and I do believe that. Um, I was extremely happy. I bet this book was a, about a six or whatever before we started working on it. And he did a good press. He did a good uh, cleaning and boom, 7.5. So I'm very happy with that. Um, and that is it, guys. That is all my books on this one. So there's still a few uh, that need to come. Um, I've got, I think, a Spider-Man 100 and 101, uh, Morbius and uh, um, the tie where Spider-Man first grows the six arms. Um, that kind of anniversary cover, 100, and then 101, of course, is Morbius. I know those two are still there. Um, and I, again, I don't know what uh, what the next tier is that does great as. But they didn't show up. I would have liked it if they would have just shipped them all together, saved me a little bit on, on shipping. But oh well. Again, I'm not going to, you know, complain too much about it. So that is it, guys. Thanks for watching and bearing with me. I know I kind of rambled a little bit, but I was. Uh, it's always exciting opening up your, you know, your grail box. And I appreciate everybody. Thanks once again. Happy hunting, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.